I was asked to discuss about uh, biogas, which is uh, one part of the solution of the climate change issue. Uh, most of the attention today is uh, focused on uh, solar and wind, thanks to their spe spectacular expansion and cost reduction. But uh, step back and consider the whole energy system and you will find another picture. Modern bioenergy is playing the dominant role. Uh, why? Simply, uh, electricity, it's simple. Electricity only accounts for less than 20% of total energy consumption worldwide. And bi bioenergy is the only renewable source that can provide energy for all end use. And the contribution of modern bioenergy is particularly important in heat. Two thirds of uh, that heat goes to industrial uh, application and the rest is consumed in buildings with a very small remaining fracture in agriculture. As a result, uh, at the end of uh, uh, 2017, modern bioenergy encountered for the half of renewable energy consumption. As much as hydropower, wind, solar, and all other renewables combine, and four times the amount of wind and solar combined. I wish to underline that all these numbers concern just modern energy and uh, ex are excluding traditional use of bi biomass, for example, <coughs> by, for cooking in developing countries, which is causing air pollution, indoor air pollution, and premature death. The dominant role of modern bioenergy is often overlooked. This is why we consider it a blind spot, the overlooked giant of renewable. This is not to undermine the role of electricity, of course, just bioenergy as many more competi competing option. So, uh, in order to reach the sustainable development scenario, the IA is considering that renewable would contribute to one third of greenhouse gas emission reductions. You are accustomed to this figure, and you can see that bioenergy contribution is representing 7.5 percent of uh, the gap by 2040. And uh, also you can note that uh, bioenergy can be combined with CCUS in order to provide negative emission. And I hope that we will come back during the debate on the issue of CCS and CCUS. Biomethane, I will focus now on biomethane. Biomethane will play a major role. In just seven years, biomethane production has increased by a factor of seven. Most of the growth uh, has occurred in Europe, but every region is participating in the global growth. In 2017, 720 biomethane production plants are in operation in the world, compared to only 173 in 2010. And spread over 34 countries, there are 10, uh, 1,020 projects of upgrading operational plants under con construction or planned. Europe is representing, as I said, an important part, uh, and uh, uh, European production is booming. Europe represents two-thirds of the present production. Germany and UK are the leaders, but this sector is booming everywhere. And according to the report, uh, gas, uh, uh, gas for Climate, the production may reach 95 BCM in 2050, of which 62 from anaerobic digestion. Outside uh, Europe, uh, biomethane is developing very rapidly in the United States, driven by support 
to advanced fuel. It is a way to reduce methane emission from waste. This development is strongly supported by regulation, regu uh, renewable fuel standard, volume obligation, and certificate markets. And 82 projects are, for the time being, under construction or planned. And uh, you, can, uh, you have to notice that the US is the, lord, the world leader for bio natural gas vehicle and bio LNG. China will uh, become the giant as well in the biomethane market. It is in China, this market is just emerging with only 40 units at the end of 2017, but China launched in 2015 200 large-scale project. And this policy aims at first ensuring uh, security of gas supply, fighting against local production, pollution, and also developing rural areas. A three-phase policy of industrialization has been decided with an objective to produce 30 BCM by 2030, based on financial incentives and green gas quotas. So let's move to the conclusion. <coughs> Just in a summary, uh, there are promising development all around the world. In Europe, the use of biomethane is spreading across the continent, all across the continent, with a huge potential of 95 BCM in 2050. Uh, in North America, there is a surging production over the recent period, propelled by the, uh, the US to the first rank of the world for the use of biomethane in uh, uh, vehicles with a significant potential of 30 to 40 BCM, mostly from waste. In Asia, uh, I, we have to note the recent adoption of the biogas updating, uh, uh, upgrading technology by China and India, this is a, uh, a game changer. I refer to the objective of 30 BCM for China in 2030. It's, no, it's less uh, clear for India. And uh, there are also projects elsewhere. And just a summary at the bottom of this, of this page, developments of uh, uh, biomethane uh, is linked in every country to subsidies to cost reduction linked to industrialization and also to sustainable resources. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Olivier. Why, why did you pick up uh, biomethane this time? Uh, because it is ignored as such. Uh, it is uh, becoming very popular, for example, in, uh, in Europe. And uh, in the context of, in the context of uh, zero of uh, uh, carbon neutrality in 2050, there is no more place in Europe for, uh, there is no more place in Europe for the, for natural gas. Uh, for, uh, for, um, and so the solution is to develop, uh, is to build biogas and uh, bio on this uh, objective of uh, 30 